Hey guys, out here in the shop today, we're gonna to be framing in this mirror using a half lap miter joint. It's gonna be a decorative piece that's gonna go on the wall of my daughter's room. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that joint with hand tools and power tools. So let's go ahead and get started. So to begin with, you gotta get the dimensions of your outside border. And the way to do that is by actually measuring the piece that you're gonna be framing. So this is 13 and 7 8 I'm using two by fours, so those are three and a half inches a piece. I'm gonna have one on each end, so that's a total of seven extra inches that it's gonna have to overlap. But I'm gonna have a three quarter inch uh, border on the inside for the mirror to, to sit into. So what I'm gonna end up doing is taking the 13 and 7 eighths, add the seven inches, which will be 20 and 7 eighths, and then subtracting an inch and a half. So my two side pieces will be 19 and a half inches. Now for my side piece or my top and bottom rail, I've got a 10 and three quarter inch width right here. So I gotta take that, add seven inches. So that'll be 17 and three quarters. And then subtract an inch and a half so that'll give me 16 and a quarter inches. So I've gotten all the pieces laid out. This is pretty much the essential of what it's going to look like. It's going to be like a building block kind of system. If you guys know what a half lap joint is, it's pretty much where you cut half of this piece out. Just like this. And then you take your other piece and you'll cut the top section out and then they'll pretty much slide together but we don't want just a square looking joint on the corner we want it to actually look like a picture frame with the modern corner so what we're going to do is cut about half of this out and then cut about half of this way out and then they'll overlap and be extremely strong and better than just a butted together modern joint so to begin with, what we're going to be doing is just cutting out this little notched corner for the half lap joint. And we're going to be using the bandsaw for it. And to begin with, all you got to do is mark out your corner area. I'm just using a speed square, line it up against this corner, and draw out your line. And that will be the place for your miter. You will actually cut out this little section right here. Then you go over to your edge. You make sure that you've got three and a half inches cut out draw another line down and this will be kind of your depth stop for when you're going in this is going to be mainly freehand stuff so if you aren't comfortable doing freehand don't do it and your half lap part is going to be three quarters of an inch and having a speed square is extremely handy for this because it's got all the little notches and now it's just time to cut away and what I'm going to be doing first is cutting on this 45 degree angle line now I'm not going to tip it up and go like this I'm actually going to take my table and tip it to the 45 degrees which is right there tighten it all back down be doing the more of the freehand part and what you're actually going to be doing is taking it and pushing it through just like this and I've got it braced against my chest and against the bottom part and I'm just going to guide it right on through that center mark that I've made until it hits this notch and the other bottom side and then this piece should either just barely be hanging on where I can take a chisel to it or it should just pop off.
And just like that, I've got this piece notched out. So now we can go ahead and grab the other portion and we'll get that side done. Now this side is much easier because you don't have to leave as much. You don't have any kind of really strange angled cuts or anything that you got to hang on to. All you have to do is pretty much cut or keep this little section right here. So I made my miter mark. I'm going to make sure that I'm three and a half inches in. Draw another line. Come on both sides and make sure that I've got my three quarter inch my, uh, depth. It's a lot harder to do on the table of the bandsaw, but we're going to get it done. So we got that depth mark and we're going to flip it over. Get this depth mark. And what we're going to be doing is just keeping this section right here. So what we will begin doing is actually I'm going to go ahead and just rip it to about half the depth right here. Switch it around. <laughs> Alright, now we're ready to cut. So I'll go in halfway right here, and then I'll come back at and I'll bend the table and get this section cut out. Alright, so here's side one and side two with machine cuts. They're uh, pretty good. I like them. Uh, this one's got a little bit higher right here, but I can take care of that with a hand plane. This one's nice and flush with a little bit, itty bitty of a gap right there, but I think after I put the clamps on it, it'll uh, seal up and maybe put some sawdust in there. But pretty happy with that. So now let's go ahead and do the same exact thing with hand tools. All right, so we got our bottom piece right here, and we're going to kind of do this quicker. We're just going to make each side's mark. One right there, flip this over. One right here. I feel like with a handsaw, you've got a lot more uh, freedom as what you're doing. It's a little bit quicker, but people like to do the bandsaw stuff, so I showed you guys how to do it on a bandsaw. Got my marking gauge. Flipping them over, and this is a perfect uh, three-quarter inch. You want to make sure you do it that way. You can flip it around and do the same mark that way, and it should fall right into the same groove. And it does, so we're good there. Mark right there. And we're marking right there. And then all we got to do is get this section cut out and this section cut out and that will be for the bottom side of that half lap joint all right so we're going to be starting off i got it in my makeshift moxon vise and i've just got my rip saw and i haven't even sharpened this saw yet I just purchased it so we're going to see how well it does just like this
All right, so after I got the main rip cut done, I've got it underneath the hole fast with a piece of wood on top. And now I'm just following my miter mark down. So we'll see. Take the chisel to it. Just give it a few wax. There it goes. So now we got this piece off and we can go switch around and do the other corner. Alright, so for the other section of the half lap part, I'm going to be doing the three cuts like we did on the bandsaw. On this one though, I'm going to start with this, uh, the whole entire squared end. I'm going to rip it in half. I'm going to cut down halfway, flip it around, and then do the other side. Then I'll come over and cut out this whole entire section, and then I will cut my miter spot. Check real quick and see how we've done. That's that one. Where's the other piece? Here we go. Alright, so. Not too bad. I can clean it up a little bit more with a uh, chisel. It's a little bit high. And there's a little bit of extra meat right here in this corner right here. If I can take that out with a chisel. And it'll butt up just fine. And it'll be stronger than a regular just butted miter joint. So I'm going to do that other side. And then we'll have it all done. Alright, well, there you have it. This is the half lap miter joint done with both power tools and hand tools. I'm sure you can figure out a way to do it on the table saw, but I've only got the bandsaw to do it with the power tools. So that's how I did it. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and also share around on all, all the social media. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and check out all the other videos I've got, including woodworking, blacksmithing, and some DIY stuff. And I will see you guys on the next video.